Assalamualaikum and hi everybody. I hope that you guys are in the team since we are currently facing a pandemic at this moment of time. First, let me introduce myself. My name is Muhammad al Asi bin Maro and I am from UITM Terra, Campus Tapa. I am currently studying in Diploma in Science in the Faculty of Applied Science and I am from group number 17. So, before I share with you guys about this story, I must ask a question. Do you guys know Cinderella? Because today's story is about her. And the question is, if Cinderella's shoe fit perfectly in the end, why did it fall off in the first place? So here is my first theory. What if I tell you that Cinderella purposely slipped her shoe off at the stair on her way running to her chariot? Okay, hear me out guys. The reason why she purposely slipped her shoe off is because she wants the prince to find her at her home where she was treated poorly by her stepmother and her stepsister. She planned to run away from her stepmother and stepsisters, but she cannot do that since she has no way to run to. Therefore, when she heard that the castle was to have a ball, and the reason for the ball is to find the prince to be bright, an idea came to Cinderella's mind which is, she could use this opportunity to go to the ball and try to win the prince's heart. This would not only mean that she could get away from her sad family, but she would also get the fortune or treasure of the kingdom. That same day, she prepared her simple dress to go to the king to the ball. But it was ruined by her stepsisters. Sad and frustrated, Cinderella cried her heart out and suddenly, a fairy came out of nowhere. Puzzled, she asked, Who are you? to the fairy. And the fairy said that she was Cinderella's fairy godmother and she came to help Cinderella to get to the ball. With the swish of her wand, Cinderella was wrapped in a beautiful dress and was wearing a pair of glass shoes. To the ball, Cinderella went and she met the queen. And there, they had a wonderful dance together. But, Little did she know that the clock was about to reach midnight. Panicked, she rushed towards her chariot, but she remembered that the prince did not know her name or her home. Therefore, she decided to purposely slip her shoe off as a hint for the prince to find her. After a few days, the prince did come to her home after visiting the whole kingdom in search of whose food would fit the glass shoe. And finally, when Cinderella put the shoe on, it did fit her perfectly. Well, that's just my first theory. Next is my second one. Which is that when Cinderella actually realized that it was close to midnight, she rushed towards her chariot. But in the midst of running, she was sweating heavily and that made her feet become slippery. And one of her glass shoe slipped off. She does not have much time to pick it up since the fairy godmother magic is about to wear off. Therefore, she chose to continue running towards the chariot with a heavy heart since she thought that she could not meet with the prince ever again after this. But little did she know that after the incident, the prince searched the whole kingdom for her and succeeded in finding her at last with the help of the one glass shield. Finally, when she put it on, it does fit her perfectly and they live happily ever after. To sum it up, there are two theories for me, which the first one is that Cinderella purposely left her glass shoe for the prince so that he can find her and the second one would be that she was sweating so much from running that her glass shoe came off and was left on the stair. And that is all from me today. Thank you for listening to my story today and I hope that you enjoyed hearing it. Have a nice day and thank you.